Hello, my name is Ashley, and I'm the owner of Subliminally Awesome LLC. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me for another soap making video. Today, I am making another gradient technique cold process soap. I've really fallen in love with this technique. I love the ombre look, and I love the gradient look. Um, so I'm trying this technique with a couple different colors, and we'll see how it comes out. So first I mixed in my lye water, and then I mixed in my fragrance oil from Midwest Fragrance Company, and it's called White Tea, and it smells amazing. So when I mixed it in, you saw it turn a little like of a light green color. I'm not sure what happened there, some kind of reaction, um, but it went away and it didn't affect the um, end result of the soap, so I'm not worried about it. So I just started buying uh, fragrance oils from this company. Um, they are amazing, great customer service, um, and all of their uh, fragrance oils are paraben and phthalate free. So that's good. That's amazing. And they smell so good. Uh, here I am mixing in my mineral micas. Again, I used Blue Vibrance from uh, Nurture Soap. I I love this color. I've used it so much lately. And I'm also going to be using Neon House Party Purple um, Mica Powder from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I love purple and blue together, and I'm so excited to see how this ombre comes out. So I split split my batter into two equal parts, or somewhat equal parts, um, and then added my mica, my colorants, and then I'm going to tip my molds a little bit. Um, I used the top of um, these molds, the, the wooden tops that came with them, and then, you know, whatever you have laying around to kind of like angle it a little bit. In this case, I used some uh, silicone molds. <laughs> So for my ombre, um, I'm going to start with the blue. Now looking back, I kind of wish I would have started with the darker color and added in the blue, but that's okay because it still came out really cool. Um, so I'm adding a little bit of blue and with each pour, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of purple and mix it in really well and then pour it on the wall of the mold. So it kind of runs down the side. vibrant colors in my soap. I, it's so fun to work with them. Um, I always go back and forth between making more natural looking soaps and then making my colorful vibrant soaps. So I guess there's nothing wrong with uh, doing the best of both worlds, I guess. I'm just a lover of neons and vibrant colors. And I'm really loving how these gradient pores are coming out. So I plan on trying more colors and maybe hopefully in the future incorporating more than two colors. So that should be exciting. There's always so much to learn in the soap making world. I love it. This white tea fragrance oil smells so good. I went back and forth uh, between wanting to mix it with uh, something like lemon or orange essential oil, but honestly, it smells so good by itself. It smells so clean and bright and fresh. I was like, I'm just gonna use this by itself in a soap. 
and I think it kind of went with the cool tones of the purple and the blue. Maybe in the future I'll try it out with um, some orange essential oil. So I just want to take a second to thank you guys for either, you know, being a first time viewer or being a subscriber and coming back and watching my videos. It means so much to me. I'm happy you are here. that the one mold was kind of out of view from the video. I didn't realize that till after, so my apologies. As my mold is filling, I just start kind of like tipping them down a level um, to kind of bring them just to flat table level. At this point, I'm mixing in the very last of my colors. Now, I always soap at room temperature, always, always. Um, so it gives me time to do all this mixing. And I always make sure I'm working with a fragrance oil or essential oil that isn't going to accelerate my batter or make it thicken up really fast. Um, so I have a lot of time to work with it. So now I'm adding glitter. I love glitter. <laughs> and I think it looks really good with the purple and the blue. So I did use my biodegradable glitter from Mad Micas. This is Into the Mystic, um, and it's actually made with uh, materials that are just going to dissolve in water. I think it said after 30 or 45 minutes that they just dissolve. So that makes me really happy that um, I can use glitter in my products and in my soaps, and I don't have to worry about them having a negative impact on the, on the environment. I also use these really cute little star bits and I love them. The 90 ba 90s baby in me loves these. Also biodegradable. They're so cute. Check out that sparkle. If you aren't a glitter fan, I'm sorry, but I just love these. <laughs> Now these are just on the top of the soap, so if you use the bar of soap, um, it's not going to bother you. There's, you know, for decoration, they look really nice and then they'll wash off and you'll, you know, it doesn't affect the bar of soap at all. So I did notice because they are biodegradable in my end result, the finer glitter kind of dissolved a little bit or it sank in, I'm not sure. Um, but it still looks really pretty regardless. It came out great. I love that blue. It was a little soft, so I kind of just touched up a little spots, and I actually let it sit overnight for one more night before I cut it, because I didn't want to get drag marks or anything from it being too soft. Every once in a while my batches act differently. Sometimes I'll get ones that harden up a little bit faster than the others, depending on what um, additives you put in it, or maybe it was a little bit colder or warmer that day. Can really, you know, those small things can really affect how your soap comes out. I'm still loving my soap cutter pro. Love it, love it. 
So I did decide to cut this sideways just because I didn't want the glitter to run through the soap and like cause drag marks on it. Yes, I'm so excited. The gradient came out really cool. I love the glitter on the top. And I'm going to bevel these. I'm kind of falling in love with beveling. It makes the soap look really clean. So I will always be in the world of rustic bars too, but you know, with the raw edges, the, you know, the zigzag cut. But uh, for these bars, I'm just, I'm gonna bevel these. I think they'll look really nice that way. They smell so good. I can't, I can't express that enough. <laughs> I love the white tea fragrance oil. I will definitely be uh, buying more of that. So this will be available in a few weeks for purchase. I'll let you guys know when it's ready. And I will be um, getting together some bags of soap ends. So if you guys want samples, you can just buy a bag of the soap ends and try out some different scents that I have if you aren't sure what you like. So we'll also let you know when I have some of those available once I get uh, a good collection to get out to you guys so yeah thank you for joining for me for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like the colors and the glitter if you aren't subscribed be sure to subscribe I don't post a ton of videos right now so I won't bother you too much but uh, yeah subscribe and join me for another video I'd really appreciate it hope you guys have a wonderful day Take care.